In the previous video, we learned about static generation with data fetching. We learned about the get static props function, which can be used to inject props to our component. Now, although this works well, it is typically not how you would write a production application. For example, the JSX for a user component would be written in its own file and invoked inside the user list component passing in the necessary props. In this video, let's discuss about that. And what we need is a separate component called user, which will accept a user's details as props and render the username and email. For that, we need to create a new file. But the question is, where do we place that file? Should we create it inside the pages folder? Well, the answer is no. When building a Next.js application, pages are very special. They give you added benefits like automatic routing and access to functions like getStaticProps. However, these benefits shouldn't be available for presentation components that we write in our application. Hence, they shouldn't be created inside the pages folder. Instead, we can create them in a separate components folder. So within the project root, create a new folder called components. Now the folder name is not a strict convention, but it is something which makes sense. You can name the folder Batman and it wouldn't matter. Now within this components folder, create a new file called user.js. In React, the convention is Pascal case for file names, but from what I've seen, the convention is kebab case for Next.js. So I'll follow the same. Within this file, we define the user component. So function user, which accepts user as a prop and returns the user's name and their email. We also need to export default user component. Now back in users.js, we can replace part of the JSX with the user component. So instead of user.name and user.email, I'm going to invoke the user component, passing in the user object. Make sure to import the component at the top. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, our UI remains unaffected. But this time, our code is organized better. So what I want you to take away from this video is the difference between a page and a component. If you want to expose some UI as a route in your application, create it as a page. If you're simply looking to adhere to the component-based architecture and organize your JSX, go with components. Components don't need the special features that Next.js provides for pages in an application. So that is about pages and components in the code we have written. The other discussion, which is really important, is about the getStaticProps function. Let's look at that in the next video.